In Australia, you can find one of the most venomous types of snakes in the world, the brown snakes. And if you want to learn more about this group of snakes, stick around for this video because we have a lot to talk about. Let's roll our intro while you go ahead and hit that trust like, subscribe to the channel, because another snake chat is about to start. Brown snakes belong to the genus Sudanaja and are part of the Illapidae family. And in this family, we have the snakes with the most toxic venom in the world. I've already shown some species from the Illapidae family in another video, and I'll leave the link up here for you to watch. Sudanajas are the most medically significant venomous snakes in Australia and have caused more than half of all serious snake bite incidents in Australia over the past decade. Until a few years ago, the main problem with venomous snakes in Australia was the tiger snakes of the species Notechus scutatus. But environmental changes caused by deforestation have greatly reduced the range where the tiger snake occurs. On the other hand, brown snakes are highly adaptable, and as the numbers of other species, including tiger snakes, have decreased, the number of brown snakes has increased, especially in rural areas. An obvious reason for this is the fact that adult brown snakes, from most species, although they have a generalist diet, feed mainly on small mammals, particularly rodents. And despite the common name, brown snakes, they aren't always brown in color. Yeah, brown snakes aren't always brown. They can be gray, black, yellow, or even bright orange. Most young individuals of the various species have a banded pattern on their backs, and several species usually have a black head. This feature of body bands and a black head is usually lost as the animal grows. And brown snakes, known for their highly venomous nature, possess a significant reputation for being incredibly irritable and will not hesitate to bite defensively if they perceive any form of threat. Most species in the genus display a very classic defensive posture, with their head raised off the ground, neck bent, often in an S-shape, and mouth open. They are extremely sensitive to movement, which means that if they are cornered, they may strike at any moving object near them with their mouths open. So, the safest way to protect yourself if you come across a brown snake is to stay still. After all, brown snakes, like most venomous snakes, when in the presence of a human, tend to quickly look for shelter to hide. They can't really be considered aggressive, since humans are much bigger than they are and are therefore seen as predators, not prey. And it's rare that you can say brown snakes are actually attacking humans. In fact, what they're really doing is defending themselves. Like all elipids, right, they have that proteroblyphous dentition and small fangs at the front of their mouths. So, sturdy shoes or even long pants made of thick fabric, like denim itself, already provide a considerable degree of protection against brown snake bites. Brown snakes also produce only a small amount of venom, but their venom is extremely potent, and even a bite that doesn't leave a visible wound can cause life-threatening envenomation. For this reason, any brown snake bite should be considered a life-threatening emergency. It requires, then, immediate first aid and transfer to a hospital for diagnosis. And, if necessary, antivenom therapy, right? Treatment with antivenom. The taxonomy, the classification of this genus Sudanaja, has changed a lot in recent years, but currently nine species are recognized and the genus is found throughout the Australian continent. Among these brown snake species, in this video I want to show you one in particular, which is the eastern brown snake. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like, it really helps us out. That way, every time there's a new video, you'll get a notification and stay up to date with everything from Popo to Cobra. But now let's talk a bit about the eastern brown snake. It belongs to the species Sudanaja testilis and, besides living on the eastern side of Australia, it also occurs in New Guinea. 
The venom of brown snakes is among the most potent of all snakes in the world. Now, the venom of Sudanaja testilis, this eastern brown snake, has the second lowest LD50 among all of them. And as I've already explained here, right, the lower the LD50, the more potent the venom is. We have a video dedicated just to talking about venom potency. I'll leave the link up here. If you haven't watched it, you'll understand this LD50 story a bit better. Sudanaja testilis is a snake that measures between 1 meter and 1 and a half meters. Occasionally, it can reach 2 meters. Its dorsal coloration can be gray, light brown, or even dark brown, sometimes even reaching black. The belly, on the other hand, is cream, yellow, or even brownish in color. It has diurnal habits, moves quickly, and feeds on small mammals, lizards, amphibians, and snakes, including those of its own species. In other words, it can practice cannibalism. And they aren't easily found in Australia, no. Why is that? Because they live buried underground. They live beneath the soil. Sometimes they can be buried as deep as 40 centimeters, especially in winter. But on summer nights, they might come up to the surface. Even so, since it's nighttime, finding these animals still isn't that easy. Many Australian researchers report that this species spends 93% of its time buried, so finding this animal in Australia really isn't that simple. Oh, and even though its venom is extremely toxic, it doesn't always kill its prey with venom. Yeah, when the prey is very small, it prefers to save its venom, not waste it, and kills the prey by constriction instead. It coils itself around the victim and kills it just by sheer force. That way, it secures its food and saves its venom for when it needs to take on bigger prey. And many researchers who work with brown snakes report that this species is the hardest to handle, okay? Because it's very fast, it's very agile. Speaking of this species, the individuals that live in the north and inland tend to be bigger and more aggressive than the populations that live in southern Australia. They are oviparous, laying their eggs in the summer, and they usually bury them in the ground, where the temperature is high and that way they're also protected. And their clutches range from 10 to 35 eggs. The identification of the species usually can only be done by counting scales, since their coloring is very similar. So just looking at a photo like this, it's hard to tell them apart. Oh. And remember when I said that the brown snake has the second most lethal venom in the world? And do you know which snake has the most lethal venom? Check out this video here and you'll find out.